What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video I have a tutorial on how to do a backflip standing straight on the ground but also I will teach you how to do it on the trampoline first for safety measures. So let's get going. To start off with, we're going to learn the backflip on the trampoline. To do the backflip on the trampoline, what you want to do is first make sure you don't chicken out mid-air. If you don't commit, you are going to fail. I cannot stress this enough. You need to make sure you commit to this trick. Yes, it is extremely scary going completely upside down, but after you do it enough, it becomes like second nature. What you want to do is start by getting some good bounce. Start by getting some height on the trampoline so that you will have time to do the flip in the air. Then you've got to do the correct technique. The correct technique, which is very easy to pick up and learn, is the tuck. To do the tuck, you need to first jump up and swing your arms back to get the momentum to start you from to start you turning backwards. Then you want to bring your knees to your chest and wrap your arms around your legs. You don't need to hold it extremely tightly, you just need to make sure you are holding your legs so that your body will rotate and spin in the air. I strongly recommend you practice with crash mats on the trampoline because if you land on your head you are not going to get as hurt as you would without crash mats. When you have mastered bouncing on the trampoline with the backflip, you want to start making your bounce smaller and smaller. Try practicing the backflip just standing on the trampoline. If you want to work your way up to doing it on the ground, you need to first master it on the trampoline and by master it I mean be able to land it no matter how high you're bouncing or what speed you rotate at. By doing the backflip on the trampoline over and over, it will ingrain in you the technique required and the feeling of going upside down and landing. Trust me, the backflip is extremely scary starting out, but it's actually easier to do than the front flip. When you have mastered the backflip on the trampoline, so you can do it from any height and do it just standing straight and land it, you want to start adding some extra flip. See if you can flip so hard that you almost overbalance. That will show you that you have enough momentum and power to flip directly on the ground. Now that you've mastered it on the trampoline, what you want to do next is try backflipping into a pool if you can. That is how I started. I didn't just learn on the trampoline and go straight onto the ground and do it. It was actually three years before I did it on the ground after first learning on the trampoline. By backflipping into a pool, it will give you some confidence and technique in doing the backflip. When you backflip into the pool, make sure you jump out and back as seen when I did a backflip off the tank so that you don't come and land directly on the edge. Now, when doing the backflip on the ground, I highly, highly recommend you have crash mats because if you land on your head or on your stomach, you are going to hurt yourself a lot because the ground is not as forgiving as a trampoline mat or water. When doing the backflip, you really want to make sure you've got height. To make sure you've got enough height, you first want to do a backflip on the trampoline and see how long it takes you to spin completely around. So if it takes you one second to spin all the way around, what I want you to do is when you do it on the ground, just jump as high as you can to start with like this. Count how long you're in the air for. For example, get someone to hold a stopwatch and see how long you jump for. If you're in the air long enough, you are going to complete the flip as long as you commit, tuck, and hold that tuck. When you do the backflip on the ground, you also really need to get that arm swing into it. I know a few people who can do a backflip without the arm swing, but I can guarantee you that when you're learning, it is not easy and you will want to get that arm swing to help get the momentum in spinning all the way around. When you jump, you need to make sure you commit and not just chicken out. Same rules apply as on the trampoline. If you untuck, you're going to fail no matter what. When in the air, you want to make sure you maintain your tuck and grip your knees. You don't have to hold yourself in a death strangling grip. You just want to make sure you've got a firm yet gentle grip on your knees so that when you can, you can release and untuck, land, and then you don't have any worries. This trick is not an easy one to master and it took me six years before I was able to learn to do it on the ground. Make sure when you do the backflip, you don't do too many of them in one day, otherwise you're going to pull muscles. Warm up before you do a backflip, so whether that be doing some running, jumping on the trampoline, or just moving around, you do not want to just do a backflip cold, that will increase the chances that you'll hurt something, whether it be your legs, back, ankles, who knows. So thank you for watching guys, I hope this tutorial helped you, or at least got you started on the way to doing a backflip. 
I am not a trained professional. Please practice this at your own risk and do be careful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.